welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost channel here on YouTube. As always, I am your host with the most, Ghost. Alright guys, I got fast lane predictions for you here today. But before I get into it, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter, HWMGhost. Alright, we got seven matches scheduled for tonight's event. Live on pay-per-view and live on the WWE Network. We are coming to you from the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. WWE Fastlane. Uh, let's start with the pre-show. You know, um, United States Championship match is going two out of three falls tonight. Champion Kalisto against Alberto Del Rio. Um, hopefully this is the end of this feud because they've already traded the belt back and forth a couple of times. And with Kalisto, you know, finally ridding himself of Alberto and who knows if this is just something for Kalisto to do while Sin Cara is out with an injury or whatever he's doing. But... I'm going to go with uh, Kalisto. Um, I'm going to say Kalisto wins uh, the second and third fall. You know, most of these two out of three fall matches go with the three falls. They never end two falls. I don't know why, but I'm going to say Alberto wins the first fall and then Kalisto wins the second and third fall. Second match. Um... Uh, you know, this, this pay-per-view really is really off here. And, you know, building towards WrestleMania, it seems like their WWE is going backwards. And they are really just starting their feuds at WrestleMania. And right now they're uh, ending a lot of feuds. So, I'm going to go, I guess... In order here, I don't know, you know. It's weird how WWE schedules their events now. and I don't know, man. So, uh, Charlotte Flair versus Brie Bella for the Divas Championship. Um, I said this a while back. I think Charlotte's going to hold the belt until WrestleMania. So, I'm going with Charlotte Flair, you know. Giving Brie Bella the... Divas title does nothing for anyone. Uh, tag team match between Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks against Naomi and Tamina. Apparently, uh, we'll have a new member of Team Bad tonight. I don't know if that's of any significance to come, but I'm going with Becky and Sasha. The Intercontinental Championship gets defended tonight. Dolph Ziggler against champion Kevin Owens. I'm um, going against Kevin Owens to retain. That way he can start his program with Sami Zayn going into WrestleMania. Ryback, Big Show, and Kane versus Luke Harper, Eric Roman, Rowan, and Braun Strowman. You know, this is uh, another match that's just thrown together last minute. Nobody cares. The one thing that this can do is build the Wyatts up for WrestleMania, giving them a big push. A lot of rumors with Bray Wyatt, who he's going to face at WrestleMania, but I'll get into that later. I'm going to go with the Wyatts defeating Ryback, Big Show, and Kane, you know. As of now, I, I think Ryback, <laughs> Ryback needs to do something different. He, he recently changed his gear and his outfit, and he's just coming out in black trunks, I guess. I, I haven't seen it yet, but who knows, man. The, the guy is, you know, he hasn't won a match in a long time, and they really have to do something with him. AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. When they first had this match on Raw uh, after the Royal Rumble, I thought it 
it could have been something special and with them doing it now on pay-per-view i i think the the appeal of it has lost a little bit you know hopefully these guys can turn it up in uh on fastlane you know um one of the great great guys i i listen to on podcasts they say you know there's three matches when it comes to wwe there's live events there's your tv events and then there's your pay-per-views so i think what wwe is doing is they're putting jericho with aj styles so you know jericho can kind of coach uh aj into how to prepare for these different events you know like okay here's a raw match here's a pay-per-view match and you know explain the difference to me okay because on t television you want uh like kind of sudden sudden things you know little little things but on pay-per-view you want those big impact moves and shit like that so i'm picking aj styles and our main event is dean ambrose roman reigns and brock lesnar in a triple threat match for the number one contendership to go and face Triple H at WrestleMania for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Going in this, you know, I think Roman Reigns has looked the weakest of the three. And, you know, Brock Lesnar always looks great, always impresses me. Dean Ambrose has impressed me for a long time now and you know going into that ring calling out Brock Lesnar and taking his lickings with <laughs> I think he took an F5 almost every Monday since Royal Rumble <laughs> and two in the same night so you know Dean Ambrose has been showing some balls lately and calling out Brock Lesnar is Something few and far that, you know, hardly nobody ever does. So, you know, I'm going with Dean Ambrose, man. I said that I wanted to see Roman Reigns versus Triple H at Mania. I want to see Dean Ambrose get that huge Mania win. You know, hey, man, they can find some, something else for uh, Roman Reigns to do. Because obviously it's not working. You know, no no offense to the guy. He's a good worker, good look and everything. But, you know, it's it's just not working. It's time to move on. And maybe somewhere down the road, Roman Reigns will get another shot. But, you know, the guy had his chance. You know, he, he had his steam and he lost it just as quick. You know, I don't agree with him losing the title in the Rumble. I think that was the wrong decision to go with. But... The crowd has lost it on Roman Reigns, and I think WWE has to switch gears here and go with Ambrose, so that's my pick. Um, you know, thanks for checking out my channel today, and let me know your predictions down in the comments section, or link me to your video with your predictions, guys. I'm going to try to do a little Wrestlemania review series coming up with Wrestlemania season. You know, I, I know I've been lacking on the videos lately, guys, but, you know, times are changing. I, I know I said it before, but times are changing on the Ghost Channel here. We're going to pick up on the videos that I've been lacking on, and we're going to pick up right after this, guys. Take care. Peace.